Hiroshima, Japan, August 6, 1945. 8.15 a.m. 29-year-old engineer Tsutomu Yamaguchi is walking to work when a blinding flash, brighter than the sun, fills the sky. He doesn't know it yet, but the world's first atomic bomb has just exploded over the city with a force of 15,000 tons of TNT, creating a massive shockwave that disintegrates everything in its path. Instinctively, Tsutomu Yamaguchi raced into a ditch as an atomic fireball began to pulverize almost everything in sight. Like a gigantic hand from out of space coming down, crushing everything, blowing all structures away. The bomb that exploded over Hiroshima was the most destructive force ever unleashed in history. 80,000 people died instantly as temperatures approaching the surface of the sun vaporized their bodies and bathed the city in lethal radiation. But astoundingly, despite being less than two miles from ground zero, Mr. Yamaguchi somehow survived. He woke up and he didn't know how many minutes you know, passed, but uh, what he saw was a huge pillar of the fire over the Hiroshima city. Everything was burned. There is ash falling from the sky, and he realizes that his eardrums have been shattered and that he was burned by the enormous amount of heat that came out of the blast. He got a thousand times the dose of radiation that we experience in one year simply by walking on the surface of the Earth. Anyone who was in that type of a radius from uh, an atomic bomb would experience anywhere from 95 to 98% chance of dying due to all the different dimensions of injury that are possible. Tsutomu Yamaguchi's survival of the nuclear devastation at Hiroshima is almost impossible to fathom. But what's even more unbelievable is that just three days later, on August 9th, 1945, he did it again. Yamaguchi is from Nagasaki. After being atomic bombed, he wants to go back to meet his family. So he gets on a train, travels 186 miles from Hiroshima to Nagasaki. And then for a second time, he sees this flash of light coming from an atomic detonation, the Nagasaki bomb. And there's a repeat of the tragedy. He was in his office with his supervisor and the colleagues. And at that moment, the Nagasaki bomb blasted. And he immediately duck and hide under the table, under the uh, desk. So he survived, but his colleagues lost their lives. More than 75,000 people died in the Nagasaki bombing. Yet once again, Tsutomu Yamaguchi walked away from a deadly nuclear blast with only minor injuries. Even more incredibly, despite being exposed to a lethal dose of radiation for the second time in three days, he lived an otherwise healthy life before finally dying at the age of 93. Those two quick doses of radiation within three days of each other um, is, is absolutely terrible. Uh, you would think it would have destroyed his, his body, his internal organs. But somehow, this man had a system that was able to withstand it. And so it shows that there's a lot more going on with our bodies, and they're capable of a lot more than we may realize. It just takes these extraordinary circumstances to show us that. From a medical perspective, it defies all of the science that we know. There has to be another facet, like his will to live, and who knows, maybe that element of will that can't be quantified by science had something to do with it. 
Tsutomu Yamaguchi's survival would appear to defy all logic, which is perhaps why some people attribute it to fate. When we're thinking about survival, fate and destiny are so interesting because they're beliefs that have been held by societies as long as we've had sort of recorded history. We can look at the ancient Greeks, where a lot of the philosophies were really about the gods on Mount Olympus sort of rolling the dice and determining the fates for the lowly humans underneath. We could look at Hinduism, where the concept of karma has often been sort of conflated with a model of fate. And I think that makes sense, given how people who survive disasters of any kind, and really, by all odds, should have died. It's really a miracle watching them walk out of these situations. 